Prosopokoilus Giraffa, K2K from Indonesia, one of the biggest stag beetles of the world. I will check today um, what the law was, law we do. We found some adults already one month ago, but uh, males they take a little longer to develop than the females. So, most you get first the females, and afterwards, you get the, the bigger males. Um, if you go to the German channel, um, and uh, watch the same video where I started to open all of these boxes you will see some very interesting uh, pictures about the pupa in the midst of a piece of wood that we found it was kind of an archaeological uh, search because we had to go through the whole block of of uh, wood to find the the room where the larvae pupated so now we pupated so the same thing we do now, but look here, we have a problem already, we found it. Probably we are lucky that um, we found it in this stage because it couldn't survive if it would be just laying like this in the substrate. It would clearly be a death sentence for this male pupa. Only thing we can do, we can try to prepare a little uh, artificial pupa chamber for this male. I see the problem is that there is another one here, look that is in waiting in here, so probably one of them, um, if, if there are two males in a box like this, is probably too much so they can't survive, one fell out here, also what I can see, there, is a, there are some uh, more earthworms in the substrate, so I will um, try to leave this uh, pupa in the bottle here, alone only with a little material from what I know that there are no worms in it so I have to dig down a little bit to find it but here I have a piece of of this kinchi material that has no earthworms in it so this larva um, we, we put to the others that are still in the larval stage and for this one we have to prepare a good uh, a good box so it can develop and come out as a healthy uh, adult people but as I told already in the German channel it's very difficult to save pupas of stag beetles much more difficult than to save pupas of uh, rhinoceros beetles because they are much more fragile if, if you take them out you must be very lucky that uh, they can develop completely and be alive in an artificial pupil cell. But anyway, we'll try to do that for this nice and big uh, male pupa. And we can be lucky that we found it because it would have died the next few days if we couldn't uh, have saved it like it is now. So I try to very carefully keep it. Also, we try to remove a little bit the earthy material around it, put it into this peat pot and then I'm making a second layer like this, so, and then I put it back into a container. You don't need a lot of uh, material in it, it should be only slightly wet, so that would be the thing to prepare for this larva and pupa that we found here. As you know, the, uh, the material that is used up by the larva you can use very well for other uh, breeding projects, especially Cecolisi uh, larvas and, and rhinoceros people. That's a very rich and good material to use for your other uh, beetle breeding projects. I have one more box more here, as you can see, so somebody has stuck these channels. What was it here? It was, I can't say it exactly, let's have a look. Whether it's a male or a female, I can't see. What do we have here? Uh -huh, it was also a bottle. And as you can see, there's also a larva in here, a big one, still preparing its 
pupil chamber. You see that? It's uh, of course a male. It's so big, the head capsule, that it's a con uh, very clear that it's a male. That has this big uh, head capsule. So, also this one there is practically no earthworm in there, so we can put the whole material back. And we have to wait and wait some more, because it really seems that the males they need one or two months more time to develop than the females here in this uh, in the same kind of substrate. So we will see what happens. I have some more here, but these are kind of uh, of uh, boxes that I don't know what species it is, because I found it in a box where it could be um, Dorcus titanus or Prosopocaeus coelus giraffa. So I wrote it also on the side of the box that it could be titanus or giraffa. What I see from outside is that here, the same situation on the bottom of a wood piece, you see the traces of the larvae that has stuck into that piece of wood. So we leave them like this. It looks very fresh, so it's not the case that it's already pupated because then the material would change to brown here. I don't see anything like this. We will have a look. This is our pieces of mushrooms that came out here. Also you see a piece of, um, a big piece of beech wood in the substrate. So when we are lucky, we will see that there is a hole going into that, yeah look, <laughs> here is the entrance into that block. But also it looks fresh here, so we don't open it. It would be um, a pity uh, to see um, a pupa die. But now we know exactly, it's in here, exactly in the middle of this big log of beech wood. And it's waiting there until it comes out as a male, because this is a big, this was a big uh, larva in, in there. So, now here I have some more giraffe, a box with a giraffe male larva. So I don't, still don't know. Yeah, it looks the same like the thing before, that it's uh, a larva that has disappeared into the block of <coughs> white rotten beech wood like this here you see and that's why we don't uh, open it now because it looks uh, fresh so also here we probably have to wait some more time but what I can show you now is we already have a pair we found a nice male and a nice female in another uh, container that I want to show to you so that you can see them both, male and female also here. Well, and the male, let's take him out here. Well, that's the male and female of Rosso Pocoyus Giraffa K to K. A nice pair. I just leave them in this container. I make it a little humid and they should also be able to dig down into the substrate and to disappear because sometimes if the males are nervous they can uh, kill the female. So we take them back now and we have with the others we have to wait for another month or two and as you know you can come back and see in one month and I will show you what happened to the Prosopocoilus Giroffa. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching.